Okay, got a pan of water boiling real good here. Now, what I've done is I uh, put the water in and then I put some rock salt. I didn't put regular salt in. Uh, neighbor told me about rock salt. There's something about the sodium content different and it really enhances the flavor. Got the crab, water's boiling. Drop them right in there, note the time because you can't, you want it for 20 minutes. bit at a time so the water gives a chance to get back up to a boil. The sun was shining a minute ago and now it seems to be clouding over. Yeah, we might get a little bit of rain here in a few minutes so we'll have to hurry. Now I can't get all five crabs in this pot, so get as many in there as I can. Let's come up to a boil again. 20 minutes. We'll be back in 20 minutes. Hey, I figured while mine was cooking, I'd come over to the neighbor. You know, he was out there in the boat with me, and you show you how he does it. He just finished cleaning his just like I did. Old school. Old school. His pot's boiling pretty good. What time is it? It is 2.10. Two He's the one that showed me how to use the rock salt. It really does make a difference. Oh my gosh. Now you may have noticed that we dispatched the crabs, you know, ahead of time. Now, we both grew up where you had to put them in the pot live and whole. And we had a we had an elderly gentleman show us this other method, which makes them cook up a lot cleaner. It does too. It might be a little more humane way of dispatching them rather than throwing them live in boiling water. Well, not getting that, you know, not getting that brain butter in there. That's kind of make it nasty. Okay, and again, like like you did with mine, you're going to leave them in that boiling pot for 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. Take the lid off. Now, normally I just shut the heat off, but I've got another batch to do, so. Oh, man, look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's some good eats right there. Now, the, the water in this, you can, you can uh, filter it and have some wonderful crab. You know, fla flavored broth there. I get so many crabs that I don't really save it all the time, but you can. I mean, look, I mean, look at that plate full. There's still a few more pieces in there. Every once in a while, you know, you, you lose a leg or two, but that's okay. It's still, still cook them up just like you would anything else. I mean, I mean, look at that plate full of crab. Oh, man. Like I say, I have a few pieces left here. We'll go ahead and drop them in there. Get them finished up. And Larry's will be done in about 10 minutes, so we'll go take see how his turned out. Okay, it started raining, so I had to get up underneath now, but it's been 20 minutes for Larry's crab, so he'll be pulling them out of that pot any minute now. See how his turned out.
picture we've got flipped off almost. Yeah, I've got one that's got a hole in, in his. And then when I took them out of the bucket, they gotten into each other. I'm going to go run over and check mine real quick, see if it's boiling over. Oh yeah, there was a couple of them, they were huge. It sounds like it's Rain has slowed down a little bit there. Had a little bit of a squall go through. Well, earlier when I was cleaning the crab, you may have noticed something flying around in front of the lens. I was watching the video and I had a yellow jacket that must have been checking out the lens because you get this thing looking at staring into the lens. A crab. <laughs> okay, so there's your lessons. Maybe uh, if I can find out how much it's going to cost, I'll ship you some. See you later.